Hello and welcome to this short video where I will be dusting this model. It's die cast metal model of an Avro Lancaster. In the past I have uh, released a video of me dusting a Spitfire. I've also got a Hurricane as well. The Memorial or the Battle of Britain Memorial flight, the Lancaster, the Spitfire and the Hurricane. So today I'll do a little bit of um, overdue dusting of my Lancaster. It's not too dusty actually. I use a quite a small paintbrush as you can see. Get this in focus nicely. World War II uh, bomber, this was. First um, entered service in 1942. Um, so not at the beginning of the war. Not at the beginning of World War Two. Um, about two and a half years into uh, World War Two, which of course started in 1939 uh, with the UK. Amazing, 7,377 of these were built. That's incredible. And its last um, year of service was 1963, which is very late, 1963. It was also used in the Australian and uh, Canadian Air Force, but it was built for the Royal Air Force. for RAF Bomber Command. My great uncle um, flew 52 sorties in one of these during World War II. He was the uh, mid gunner at the top up here. All of his 52 sorties, I think, were in there. Scary. As the whole war would have been, of course. Of being in these bombers. Very scary. But of course, being on the receiving end of these bombers would have been Terrible and scary as well. It's powered by uh, four Rolls-Royce Merlin engines. The same engines that um, were in Spitfire, um, most Spitfires anyway, 
uh, later Spitfires had the, uh, uh, what was it, the Rolls-Royce Griffin engine, which is a more powerful engine. It's quite something now when you think of Rolls Royce, you think of, uh, you know, uh, top end, super high quality royalty. And yet each of these 7,377 planes had, a, had four Rolls Royce engines in it. Rolls Royce Merlin engines. I have this model primarily, of course, um, because my great uncle flew so many sorties in one. Uh, I think this, I think it was the same plane as well each time. But I love history anyway, all sorts of history, um, whether it's However grim the history might be, um, I think history is very important and you learn a lot from history. Let's see if I can get a bit closer to the camera. It's very uh, sunny outside today. You can see some of the detail a bit better there. I'm not letting in all the sun because it is too bright, but I'll let this little bit in. It's been um, well dusted. Get a nice close up view to um, finish off on, maybe. I think I'll end the video there. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to subscribe, please do so. I love it when I get subscribers. And I'll see you on the next
video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.